Welcome, welcome back, and I need help at c squared. In this uh, example, we need to find the value of x, y, and z in the figure below, which we see it here, right here. Do you notice we have a lot of expression that represent angles? For that reason, for making it simpler for me, I'm going to call this point here A, and I'm going to mark some points here on each line, B here, C, D, E, and f okay now this will make me will make easier for me to write some statement and the first thing i'm going to look at is this angle z we call it which represent angle c a d the measure of angle c a d plus the measure of angle c a f is 180 degree they form a line, we call them a linear pair, these two angles. But if we take a look in the picture, C, A, F, we have a box here, that will be 90 degree. So I'm going to replace that C, A, F with 90 degrees, or just 90. And what do I need to do to find C, A, D? Just subtract 90 degree on both sides. And the measure of angle... CAD, which if you remember was Z, is, is Z, is nothing else than 90 degree. Now we can move to some other angles. And my next place to look at will be these two angles. If you notice these two angles, we call them vertical angles. And they are congruent. Angle DAE is congruent to angles BAF because they are vertical angles. Okay, so their measure will be the same. The measure of angle DAE equals the measure of angles BAF. So now we're going to go to the algebraic part. We're going to replace these angles with the expression we see. DAE is 8x. eight x and uh, uh, b a f is nine x minus seven so again we end up with an equation that we need to solve and i'm going to subtract i guess nine uh, x from both sides eight x minus nine x is negative x equals negative seven so x will be positive seven you multiply by negative one both sides and get x equals 7 okay and now we have one more uh, variable to find which is y we notice we have y here or y here i think i'm going to use this this side of um, uh, this expression 3y plus 7 because if you take a look this angle and this angle here are supplementary because they form a line so let me write that statement the measure of angle DAE plus the measure of angle EAF is called 180 degree. Okay, but first of all, I really need to find how much this angle is, and you notice that is we have an expression 8x, and that is the angle DAE. The measure of angle DAE is 8x so it's going to be 8 times 7 and that will be 56 degree so now i can go back here and finish i guess problem the measure of angle dae is 56 degree the measure of angle eaf it's 13y plus 7 equals 180 uh, we need to combine these two numbers and we have here 13y plus 63 equal 180 we're going to subtract 63 on both sides and we have 13y equals 117 
and we're going to divide by 13 both sides and we end up with y equals 9 and with this we finish the problem we have y equals 9 x equals 7 z equals 80. if you enjoyed this little clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you